Ladies and gentlemen of the press, the movement for progressive change, the MPC, which is to inform the general public and its partisans are in the mix of Mr. G. G. Brahmo Samuka Sag, Brahmo Samuka Saga, which up to date has claimed high public attention, leading to a series of debates, arguments, and threats at the National Election Commission. The executive committee unanimously mandated the national chairman and the secretary general of the movement for progressive change, the MC, the MPC, to proceed with legal actions for a writ of prohibition on the board of commissioners of the National Elections Commission as first respondent and Mr. J. J. Browning Samuka as second respondent. The party has prayed to the Honorable Supreme Court of Liberia to halt and prohibit, I repeat, to halt and prohibit the National Elections Commission from certificating Mr. J. J. Browning Samuka as Senator for Lufa County. We are of the conviction that the Senate is the house of elders and members therein should be Liberians with high moral values and integrity. And as such, those elected in the Senate should uphold these attributes. In this case, the Movement for Progressive Change MPC is taking a back for a convicted criminal to be certificated for such a sacred position without satisfying the penalty thereof. The, con the convict, Mr. J. J. Browning Samuka, was indicted by the first judicial circuit criminal court and convicted on the 24th day of March 2020 for the following crime. One, theft of property. Two, conspiracy. Three, misuse of public funds. Four, economic sabotage. And five, money laundering. All are infamous crimes. He took flight to the Supreme Court and on the 8th of February, 2021, the Supreme Court upheld the ruling of the lower court. And he is liable to restitute 50% of the 1.4 million United States dollars, which is equivalent to 700,000 United States dollars in six months time or be incarcerated for two years. Has he done seen? Categorically, no. How then can he be certificated? Honor Article 21, Section F of the Liberian Constitution, he has now obtained executive clemency from the president, most importantly, in the country. We take this time to also call on government to prosecute Mr. Unibigi Udigiri, who lied on oath and has served in major appointed positions, including impressive salaries on unquestionable leadership or citizenship. The Movement for Progressive Change, MPC, will not hesitate to seek prosecution of all corrupt government officials. Thank you. Question? A uh, couple of questions. Yeah, I'm with the My name is Zach, Dr. Chairman Sherman. I'm from KMTV. Chair um, Emeritus. Come again? Chair Emeritus. Right. So uh, the question is, um, this man was uh, certificated or was uh, seen as an icon to get in the Lofa County Senatorial race. So one may say, where were the legal battle then before certificating him to take on the senatorial race in Lofa County? Well, as far as our knowledge serves us, when he was 
convicted by criminal proceed, he took an appeal to the Supreme Court. And based upon that, Ned decided to proceed with his nomination pending the hearing and the opinion of the Supreme Court. What would be the action of MPC if Ned wasn't listening or take your prohibition seriously? I think this country believes in the rule of law. And the National Elections Commission operate on the law. We have taken our first step of action by praying to the only Supreme Court to ensure that alternative rate of free issue is issue on neck, which is the National Elections Commission, the Voter Commission, not to certificate Brownie Samuka because a crystal clear. What are we relying? Look at the organic statute of this country, Article 21, Section F. As long as you have been convicted, your liberty, your civil liberty are therefore seized. And until you satisfy the penalty there of one or executive pardon by the chief executive, that's the, those are the only remedy given. But now Has any been satisfied? So we believe that the National Elections Commission will do the best to protect its own integrity, not to certificate Rani Samuka. Now the national, that is, uh, the Supreme Court has called for added imprisonment or restitution. Uh, what if uh, Rani Samuka decides to restitute the form that, is, that has been misappropriated, allegedly misappropriated? Or be the same point of MPC. But then he has met the mandate of the court. That is why we say, in the absence of satisfying the penalty of the court, he cannot hold public office. First and foremost, as long as a Liberian or alien, as long as you have been indicted and convicted by the grand jury of the public of Liberia, you cannot hold public office. One may say that. Honorable Bernie Samuka was not appointed by the president, he was elected by the people of Lofa County. So why are you denying the people of getting their lawmaker? Because he has been convicted. And under the law, there is a house of elders. The house of elders should be comprised of people of high moral value. How will a criminal sit down with people with clean hands? How will they classify him? How will he be classified in the Senate? Convicted senator? What would be the classification? You think uh, calling on net uh, to cut the certification of the uh, county senator elect Rani Samuka will not be finishing on the rights of citizens in the fact those who turn out in the most of voting? I do not believe so. Why do you think? The reason is the law is the law. As long as you are violated the law, the penalty thereof shall be met. Do you also know that the MPC will want votes from Lufa County tomorrow? But it, the MPC has its own ways and means in recruiting, in making itself politically marketable in Lufa County. We know our modus operandi. Okay, last question from my end. Um, I, I did hear you mention the issue about uh, 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 Wabu Digi, uh, the former LHC boss. Yes. What exactly is your point? Uh, our point is. He has worked in several important high positions in government on a questionable citizenship. We are now of the conviction that all the commissions he has worked for with such a huge salary that amount should be paid back to the government of Liberia and also be persecuted because he lied on a horse. Any in the in the in the in Lofa County in a Missouri election? The MPC did not put up a candidate. Why 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 such action? Why such action? Because we have a standing we participated in the December 8, 
2020 senatorial race, but we are saying there's a major political party. And, and, and equally so, when the law, I was saying, it, when the law is violated, we have the right to take a recall. Yeah, last question. Last yes, sir. I'm coming up with you, brother. Uh, I want to know whether the party, NBC, uh, communicated with all of their party, sharing all of the countries. You don't come up with this statement. Uh, three days ago, a joint resolution was made in an executive board meeting. Mandating the chairman, the national chairman, the secretary general, to take such proceeding against the National Elections Commission and convict J.J. Brown in Samuka. And to satisfy that desire, there is the joint resolution from the National Executive Committee mandating the chairman and the secretary general to proceed. So the action was done with standing. So as it takes now, sir, can you give a clear picture about what this, what you guys have reached out to in terms of your level of, of what you, you you are doing? Maybe how far are you going to your... The place? action has already been taken. Right. The party has taken the action, but we are informing the general public and other partisans reason why such action emanated from the executive committee. Is there a time frame for your action, sir? Well, it depends on the Supreme Court, but as long as uh, it is served, uh, we receive our citation. We will go according to the rule of law. I see you speaking as Chairman Emeritus and not the current Chairman. Why you desire to read the statement and not instead of the, 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 the Chairman? Thank you, because the executive committee has uh, mandated me to do so. And that, that falls in the purview of the executive committee and inconsistent and also consistent with the organic statute of the party. So this is the issue I wanted you to address apart from this the entire issue. You, your party has been accused of being run by one individual which is your standard bearer. This is laughable. How can a national political party be recognized, accredited by the National Elections Commission to be run by a one man? Incredible! First and foremost, let me ask, read your constitution. What are the prerequisites for making a political party? You say one person, whosoever says that will do the research in the Labyrinth constitution. What if your action reaches a deadlock uh, in terms of uh, prohibition? What would be an next of action? Is it violence or? Protest. Well, as far as we are concerned, the NPC is a political party that believes in the world. In case of anything whatsoever, the executive committee will revisit their decision. Thank you very okay, much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.